Is it worth buying a wheel in Forza Horizon 5? The short answer is yes, but let's go ahead and dive deeper into this and find out exactly why or why not you should get a wheel for Forza Horizon 5. My name is Nikolai, and this is Joyshift. I like to film and build cool cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be the first one to watch new videos. We're gonna learn a whole lot about cars, we're gonna customize them, we're gonna drive them, and just have a lot of fun with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. As we all know, Forza has the offerings from Forza Motorsport to Forza Horizon. Horizon. Now, Forza Horizon 5 is the latest version of Forza Horizon, and I absolutely recommend having a racing wheel for Forza Horizon 5. Now, you might now have the question, should I get a very expensive high-end racing wheel, or can I get away with like this Logitech racing wheel that I have here, which is more on the budget side? I highly recommend just going for the budget wheel because it's gonna give you the experience of like just being able to drive with the full setup in Forza Horizon 5, but you're not gonna drop the bank on it and it's not gonna be too expensive, but it is still a good amount of money to drop. I mean, for a setup like this, you're looking at about $600. If you want the full three pedals, the racing wheel, the shifter, and the full simulator seat, it's definitely gonna be five, $700 on the budget end. Um, and some guys can go crazy and spend $20,000, $30,000 on a racing setup, which I think is just outrageous, but I'm sure for them, they can justify it. Now for Forza Horizon, a lot of people say that, especially with Horizon 5, it's just not a realistic game. They say it's very arcadey, and this is totally true. It is definitely more on the arcadey side. You know, it's not a set of Corsa, it's not Forza Motorsport that are gonna be more on the simulation realistic side. But if you're like me and you like to just come home and you want a way to relax and you wanna just hop on the game, drive a car and cruise around, this is totally worth it. Like, I don't even find myself doing races anymore. I find myself just getting on the game, hopping in a nice car like this McLaren P1 here, and just driving around and really enjoying the view, the way the car sounds, the way it feels, because yes, it's not gonna be your most realistic driving game out there but it is, in my opinion, the most enjoyable because, you know, the simulation of like the wheel and it rotates and it just vibrates the perfect amount, in my opinion, to just have fun with it. So I would 100% recommend a wheel for Forza SN5. But now let's talk about who doesn't need a wheel. If you're just wanting to do like fun races and you don't really care about the way the steering wheel feels and you don't want to go all crazy and actually have like a portion of your room dedicated to a simulator, you really don't need it. You know, Forza is still going to be a fun game without it. But I think for those that need to get that itch out, you know, you need to scratch the itch and you just need to drive, but you don't want to do stupid stuff in the real world, so you do it on the game. That's really the way to do it. I feel like when you can have the game to just do what you can't do in real life, like driving crazy, driving fast on the street, like you don't want to do that in real life. You want to do that in a video game where it's not going to harm anyone, it's not going to do anything bad. So it's nice to be able to do these things in a video game so that when I drive on the real road, I drive like a normal person. I'm just driving safe. And that's like really all I want to do in, in the real world. But on the game, I can do whatever I want. So it's really interesting because when you have this simulator in your room and you can just play it anytime, it's so much fun to just be able to hop on the game and feel what it's like to drive the car how you wouldn't drive it in real life. And even just talking about like pushing the car, you're not gonna be able to push the car in real life 11 tenths. You're gonna push it eight tenths max because obviously you wanna keep safety in there. But for a video game, it doesn't matter. Drive the car as hard as you want. If you fly off the cliff, whatever, you'll respawn. You can re go, go back to the festival, whatever you wanna do, you'll be fine. And you can just do that stuff in a video game. Now, another point I wanna bring up is the fact that you can literally learn manual on here and that's kind of what I ended up doing I first learned on a real car because I didn't have the simulator before but once you actually get the simulator you'll find out that yes the clutch it doesn't really have a bite point like a real car but the the same mechanical concept is there you know you're pushing the clutch in shifting the gear releasing the clutch back on the gas it's things like that that are still applied in the game and it's actually a good way like I've been able to teach my friends how to drive manual on it and obviously you're not going to perfect it since it's not a real car but if you want to actually get the feeling of like how much to put the clutch in how to release it at what rate to release it you know how it actually feels to move the shifter around these are all things that you would still apply to a real car and are actually very similar to a real car so it's actually a really good way to learn manual so let's say you're wanting to go pick up a real car and you're afraid to you know mess it up because you don't know how to drive manual or you really want a manual car but you don't know how to drive it but you know you want to be able to drive manual once you do get your car it's a great way to learn and now I'm kind of to the point where I, I drive an automatic in real life but it's actually so fun because I don't even drive automatic on the game. I'm either running manual or manual with clutch depending on how I want to drive. So it's definitely a lot of fun and I think it's totally worth it. Now let's talk about more expensive sim setups. Like, you know, when you have a direct drive wheel, this is all good, but for the purpose of Forza and just driving around, I really don't think you need all of that. If you're going to get really serious with it, yeah, go for it. But I think if you're just like someone like me that just wants to have fun with the game, 
hop on it, you know, after school, after work. It's totally worth it. Just get the sim set up. Um, but I would definitely recommend getting the seat as well, like the whole frame, because when you're going at it and, you know, you're pressing the brake pedal, you don't want to feel it shifting. You don't want to move it on the carpet. So it's definitely nice to have the full frame in there holding you in place. And it's just, it's great. I mean, it's nice to just hop on the game. I don't even look at it as like a game. I look at it as just like a real life simulator almost where I can just drive the car and play around with other cars that I just would not have in real life. Like when, when else am I just gonna get in like a McLaren P1 and just drive it through the mountains? Like that's not gonna happen very often in real life. So it's very nice that I can just do it in the game. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I have a lot of other sim videos on my channel. We just play Forza Horizon 5 on here on Joy Shift. So it's a lot of fun. So if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.